What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. So today is the big day. We are planning a massive heist on the docks where we hope we're going to score some military tech worth money. Although with that being said, we don't actually know if there's military tech inside the shipping container, but you guys know Trevor. His brain has been fried for methamphetamine, so when he gets an idea in his small head, he latches onto it like, I don't know, a blood-sucking leech. So we're just gonna do it. It doesn't matter if those crates are full of teddy bears and oranges, he's going to do it and he is not going to hold back at all. We need to steal a submarine and a helicopter. Yeah, exactly. Not the type of stuff you would normally do when you're trying to steal something valuable, but it's Trevor. What else can you expect? Also, this dork is uh, having a nightmare, but um, he's also wearing his girlfriend's PJs. Now, Trevor is a meth head, so he can't exactly roast other people for being weird, but I don't think even Trevor would wear his girlfriend's PJs to bed. And I think this guy is having a dream about Trevor beating him or something. Or maybe he's being assaulted in the face with massive titties. Either way, my man, you are weird. You need medical attention. So, uh, once again, we need to find a helicopter and a submarine. And of course, Trevor being the intellectual genius he is, we have meticulously planned every excruciating detail of this job on the wall. That's how true criminals get shit done. They just plan it right up on the wall. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, with that being said, I think that I need to go outside before I can see the rest of the map. Fantastic, I love this game. And uh, once we get out here, I think that, yes indeed, we have a job down here. Uh, we need to get a mini sub, okay? A mini sub, I don't really know what the point of a mini sub is. I guess we'll find out. And uh, we also need to pick up a cargo bob. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head down there and uh, hopefully, Get a mini sub without too much trouble. Okay, so here we are. All I need to do is retrieve a mini sub. How hard could that be for such a resourceful human as Trevor? In fact, I think I see the submarine up there. Ooh, yeah, that is definitely a mini sub. Why, hello there, fine boat and humans aboard. I am a whale biologist in need of a mini sub to study the mating habits of the sperm whale. Say what now? Say what now? Uh, my name is Dr. Drew you told Perry Cock, but uh, you can call me uh, Droopy Cock, and I am just here to borrow a miniature sub. I hope I'm you don't have any problems with that. I may look like a meth head, but I can promise you I am actually a whale biologist. They called the cops on me. Oh shit, they're onto me. Okay, let's just drop this sub. There we go, baby. One submarine in the water, fantastic. I can't believe it was that easy. No guards? Seriously? That's like a multi-million dollar piece of machinery. All right, well, overboard we go. <laughs> ah, climb onto the sub and enter, okay? Now, hold up. You're trying to tell me a meth head with a completely fried brain knows how to operate an advanced piece of machinery like a mini sub? Nah, fam, no way. <laughs> There's no way. What? I'll be damned. He can. That's incredible. You know, for a meth head with a fried brain, you have a lot of skills. Okay, we have to go to the extraction point. I've got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and I'll, well... We both know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, um, all right. D -d bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No. But no one except whoever owns that submarine and the and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution. They behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <laughs> 
lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Merrywender are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. Oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay, well, that's more like it. Okay, we have our submarine, and for whatever reason, Trevor actually knows how to use it. And, uh, I was going the complete wrong direction. Yeah, I may be able to operate a submarine, but I have no sense of direction whatsoever. Comes from doing drugs, oftentimes you lose balance, fall on the floor, shit yourself, vomit. It happens a lot when you're on methamphetamine, so, uh, yeah, I just gotta go all the way around, and then we're going to store a submarine. <laughs> Uh, only Trevor would decide to do a job that requires a submarine and a helicopter. Most bad guys would go in, pew pew pew, shoot everyone with guns, steal some shit, make some bombs go off, you're done. Day's work complete. But Trevor, no, no, he's gotta do everything the insane way. The over the top way. The probably most likely going to fail way, but somehow he always gets away with it, so who knows. This is going to take a while, so, uh, when I get to the objective, I'll be right back. Floyd, you there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on the crane. The surface, and I'll bring you shoreside. All right. Okay, but don't mess that up. You know how to operate a crane? Because if you break this submarine, I'm going to break every bone in your damn body. This thing is worth multiple millions of dollars, to be sure. And I'm a whale biologist. I'm here to study whales, not steal shit. Mm-mm or spy on bikini girls from all the way out in the sea. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Wow, these people are clueless. I stole that just over there, and then here it is being hoisted up by a crane onto a truck, and no one notices. Los Santos is full of really dumb people. Like, really dumb people. Oh, what are you doing? It's done, let's go! Let's Ooh. go! Okay, all right. Hurry up! Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, who thought stealing a submarine would be that easy? I sure did it. All right, I'm here. Oh, gee. Hmm. It's around the corner, past the shipyards. Drop the sub off at the warehouse. All right, all right, all right. We will do that indeed. I Is mean, that shit. sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's <laughs> home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. Um, honestly, why are we even bothering with this heist at the docks? This submarine is worth enough money, we could probably sell it on the black market and make a fortune. Then again, maybe you not. You can park it there. Trying to pawn off a submarine you stole might be a little bit more difficult than, uh, say, oh, I don't know, stolen military tech? I mean, who's actually trying to buy a submarine? <laughs> Get out of truck. All right. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. I get <laughs> out of here. I'll eat your sweet meats? Damn, he's running too. That's right, bitch boy. You do what I say, and maybe I won't put my foot up your ass. <laughs> Look at him run. He's actually scared. <laughs> to be fair, I'd be scared of uh, Trevor as well. He's just, uh... He's a special type of insane. Okay, so that was super easy. We got a submarine, holy shit. Who would have thought? Uh, wait, where's the other mission at? I swear we had to steal a, uh, a cargo bomb. Oh, okay, mission complete. Fantastic. Mini sub. Again, I can't believe it was that simple to steal an entire submarine. Like, who's not going to try and protect a submarine? I just walked up, boop, pressed a button, drops in the water, and I'm going! Incredible! Okay, so uh, I believe, yeah, all the way up here is the cargo bob, so I have a very long drive ahead of me, and uh, we're gonna go steal a cargo bob. Actually, I wanna try something. You guys told me that I can call a cab 
and then basically not a uh, teleport but uh skip time and uh, appear there instantly essentially if that made any sense i don't know i have trouble speaking all right uh wade says boss you asked me to remind you about getting that chopper from fort zancudo i know you haven't forgotten have you i never forget my name is trevor i knew it it was on the tip of my tongue i knew it my name is trevor and i'm a meth head a methaholic there we go <laughs> who says drugs are bad for me i can do all the drugs i want i have fantastic memory Totally not. Okay, let's go ahead and call a cab and uh, see if this actually works. And if it does, it's going to save me a Can lot a of time. ASAP? Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Glad to hear it. Does he accept payment in toothless meth mouths? Because I'm always down to gum a penis uh, if, I, if it means not paying for my bill. Only joking, but I can tell you for sure, Trevor would definitely try something like that. <laughs> Why are you always smelling your fingers? Jesus Christ. Go get a bath or something. I can smell you from here. Oh, and there's my cab. You don't have to honk. I know it's you. Why else would a cab drive up to me if I wasn't the one calling you? Where can I take you? Uh, you can take me to wherever I say, bitch. All right, uh, does it act, does it automatically choose my destination? Oh, it does, okay. Choose Fort destination. Zancudo. Right away, sir. Skip extra cost. Oh, wow, that actually works really well. That's gonna save me a ton of time and a lot of driving. You guys have no idea, the struggle is real. I suck at driving, so having to go from point this A to point B, constantly in this game, crashing into traffic, Rolling over, having police cars chase me, it eats up a lot of my time in between going to a uh, new location. So, uh, yeah, that just saved me a ton of time. Thank you so much, mystical taxi driver that can teleport me to wherever I want. You're beautiful. Okay, so uh, how is this going to work? I need to sneak in and steal a helicopter, but uh, I don't exactly belong here. Aye, aye, sir! Trevor reporting for duty! Sir, leave the area now! This is ah. authorized personnel only! My name is General Trevor! I'm here to get me a cargo bomb! Ah, you did. Listen to him, they're damn pissed! <laughs> I'm one of you! I'm one of you! Colonel General Trevor! I, I just said two ranks at the same time, but that's okay! I definitely belong here, and I'm not a meth head, and I am definitely not going to steal a cargo bomb! So please stop shooting me! I've done nothing wrong! Except break into a military base without a pass. You can't, you can't charge me with that. I'm so dead. Why do they sound so upset? I mean, all I wanted to do is see the military base, man. Come on, maybe I wanted to enlist. <laughs> I gotta rethink this strategy. There's gotta be a way to get in without getting shot in the face. Mm. Okay, so this may be a bit more risky, but uh, I killed the guards at the gate and now I'm making a beeline straight for the cargo bob. This might work, actually. Trevor's not the type of guy to use stealth. He just prefers to shoot people in the face and then run in and hope everything works out. Wait, aren't there tanks here? Oh, no. Oh! Hello, boys! Lovely day to have a shootout with a meth head, wouldn't you say? Meth vision activated, yeah! I got special powers, bitches! I also sound like crackhead Batman, but ignore that. Okay. Let's deactivate meth vision and pray to God they don't shoot me in the face. Go, Trevor, go! You can open a door faster than that. Seriously, Trevor, come on, man. Let the adrenaline flow, baby. Oh, and there's the tank over there. Shit, shit. This is intense. Lose the military chopper. Okay, well, flying is not my strong suit. If you thought driving was bad, then uh, you should see me try and fly. I am way worse at flying than driving. All right, listen, buddy, I need you to calm down, sir. I'm just trying to fly this chopper out of your military base. There's no reason to be upset. There really isn't. I'm just gonna go borrow this, use it for what I want, and I will bring it right back, I promise. I pay my taxes, and technically you work for me. 
So I should be able to use whatever military gear I want, if you think about it. Oh, this guy's shooting rockets at me. That's not good. That's really not good. Woo! Come on, Cargo Bob. You can go faster than that, buddy. Right? Whoa! Okay, you know what? This calls for evasive maneuvers followed by deadly force. Whoa! This guy ain't playing. Okay, where is he? There he is. I was going to activate my meth vision and kill the guy, the pilot, but uh, I, I'm not faster than rockets, apparently. So yeah, that didn't really work out. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, Trevor. You gotta be faster, homie. Now where's that chopper at? There he is. Activate meth vision. Kaboom, bitch! Suck on them titties. Later, bitch. Mm. Man, you gotta love meth vision. Trevor is just all types of crazy. He's got all the tools to survive. Sorry about that. Nothing personal, but uh, your boy needs a cargo bob and you were kind of in the way. You were gonna shoot me down. That's not very nice. I mean, what are friends for? If you can't share things, then what are they for? Oh, we're not friends? Oh, well, damn. All right, then I guess I'm a bad guy just stealing a cargo bob. I thought I was friends with the military, man. I pay my taxes. I should be allowed to borrow what I want. Guess it doesn't work that way, does it? Okay, I'm gonna fly all the way to the zone, the objective. He's an unwieldy thing if Michael don't get those lessons. I was about to say I'll be right back, but never mind. How you doing, Trev? Fine. For a guy who just went into an air base and stole a chopper, are we ready to go on this thing? If it's the heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. All right, Wade. Let's do this, man. Heavy lift chopper. Sorry, I shouldn't make fun of Wade. He probably talks and acts like that because Trevor has beaten him mercilessly multiple times. I mean, to be fair, even if Trevor wasn't beating Wade on the regular, he probably grew up in a meth family where his mom and dad were like low-key related. You know how meth junkies are. So, uh, Wade was screwed from the start. <laughs> he did not have a fair shake at life at all. Okay, let's try and land this without it exploding. Last time I tried to land something at this airport or landing strip, everything went boom. There we go. I'm learning how to fly slowly but surely. And mission passed, Cargo Bob. That was actually relatively easy. You know what blows my mind? We just stole a military cargo bob from a military base, right? All I had to do was shoot down one single attack chopper. That's it. No police officers, no scout helicopters, one single other chopper. That's it. And it's a military cargo bob. Oh, it's Dick Face Steve texting me. Well, 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 what the hell do you want? Okay, he says, I need you all at the lot in El Burrow Heights for a face-to-face. -face. Don't be late. Oh, so you want to have a face-to-face, -face, do you? Mmm, I really want to see your face, and I want to see something in that face. Dick Face Steve. I hope at some point Trevor gets really upset and goes on one of his meth anger sprees and just kills him, uh-huh. Wait. So, it looks like we're ready to go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a lit party. You know shit's going down when you have chips, dip, and prostitutes in that exact order. You have to have the chips, dip it in the dip, and then you obviously have an aid-infested prostitute give you a blowjob. I mean, what is there more in life to enjoy than chips, dips, and prostitutes? Mmm. Trevor really knows how to live a goddamn good life. <laughs> uh, but again, what I was saying is that we stole an entire helicopter from a military base with almost no hassle, yet when we tried to steal 
a uh, exterminator van, a single exterminator van, right? We have the entire Los Santos police force breathing down our neck with scout helicopter shooting and everything. So uh, yeah, I don't exactly understand their priorities, but it's fine. We got the chopper, we got the submarine, we should be good to go. And uh, I believe down here somewhere, oh, there it is. We need to go talk to Dick Face Steve the FBI agent, or the FIB agent, mm, FIB, not FBI. And uh, yeah, hopefully he uh, breaks his neck on the way over there. I don't know, I just really don't like that guy at all. So let's go down there and uh, see what's up. Ah, my taxi is here. Thank you guys so much Where for telling me about this. It makes my life so much easier. El Choose Burrow destination. Heights. Sure thing, and man. skip for the extra cost that I am willing to pay because it's honestly worth it. I just, Teleport there. That's not actually what happens. I don't teleport there. In fact, Trevor does a shitload of drugs, passes out, and it feels like he teleported there. He time traveled there almost, but in fact, he was just passed out from tons All right, brother, of drugs. I mean, look at that. Time literally just blew by. I had no idea I was sitting in the car for 45 minutes. I was stoned out of my mind. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go talk to Dick Face Steve. Yeah, your little immigration problem. Was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You. Here's Trevor. Gee, right. Looky, looky, huh? Bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! You better cool it, homie. <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen. It's a good name. <laughs> something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. <laughs> Uh, not your <laughs> bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. Uh. The agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? Right. <laughs> we think they're going to use this money to finance a war on our streets, and we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're going to be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! <laughs> <laughs> he's so, he's so fucking crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. It's so hard to read Trevor. You really have no idea if he's about to tear your face off or give you a hug. Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes Trevor will lower his voice and sound emotional, comforting, even like a friend. Oh no, it's okay, I understand. And then he punches you in the face or crushes your head in like an exploding watermelon with his boot. You can't trust Trevor. If he seems like he's in a good mood, chances are he probably wants to peel your face off and then, uh, I don't know, eat it. He's a crazy guy. I guess doing copious amounts of methamphetamines will scramble your emotions. He uh, sends out mixed signals all the time. Also, Dickface Steve accidentally gave us the best name. Our trio, Michael, Trevor, and uh, Franklin, he called us the three cunts, which 
Honestly, sounds kind of amazing. You guys have obviously heard of the Three Musketeers, right? All for one and one for all? Well, we're the three Clint's. Basically the hood version of the Three Musketeers. All for one and one for me. Or something like that. I'm still working on it. But point being is that he gave us a fantastic name. We are the hood version of the Three Musketeers. We pillage, rob, and steal, and only care for ourselves. <laughs> also, I'm going down here to the safe house as I crash into a taxi, because once again, I can't drive. Actually, I can finally blame this on someone else. Trevor's high off his ass, so it's not my lack of driving skills in GTA, it's the fact that Trevor is not sober. But uh, yeah, back at the safe house, we actually have a job, so let's stop by here and see what's up. The three cunts. The leader of the three cunts has arrived. It's not actually a very flattering name, now that I think about it. I mean, it sounds badass, but it's not flattering. Okay, up the stairs, Trevor. Come on. Also, take a bath, my man. You seriously could use one. Wait! Floyd! One of you shits must be here. Eat shit die on the hello, wall. Hello, Trevor. <laughs> I missed you. Hello, Wade. I missed you, too. Uh, hello, Trevor. Oh, there. Hey, Hot Lips, where you been hiding? No, no, no nowhere. I got a, a knot the size of a baseball in here, all right? Needs a little, uh, loosening up, all right? Oh. <laughs> Massage me, motherfucker! <laughs> good, good. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh. That's hilarious. Oh. Trevor's hard at work, huh? Uh, where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy. And the stars in his eyes. And I like that. What's not like that? Oh, hey. hey ah. there, uh, the three cunts are here. The old father-son issues gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent. <laughs> you want to go? No, I'm good, though. <laughs> hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. What the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out, and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. You better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, see, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds. But for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses, you know? A carrion eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? Wow. He is crazy. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd, all right? Now, Floyd's got, not the, fuck, get out of here, all right? Now, Floyd here works at the port. He puts me onto Meriwether Security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up, I guarantee, no problems, no major heat. Mm, really? Let's get going, all right? Take our slightly past it vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks. <laughs> His energy is off the charts. Massage me, motherfucker! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sandy Shores Airfield, if you please. See, this is what I'm saying. He sounds happy, chipper, but I can guarantee he's thinking in the back of uh, his head right now, I'm gonna kill Michael, or something like that. I, I know he's pissed off right now. He sounds happy, but he's definitely pissed off. Whenever Trevor gets quiet and seems a little happy, that's when you should be the most scared. Okay, so we're driving to the airstrip, and that is a very far drive. Oh my God. All right, boys, let's go. Drive to the airstrip. Sandy Shores, that's quite a distance. What's with this guy? Man, I didn't realize we was going all the way out there either. I've been told your generation are work shy, repeatedly. But this is the first time I've seen it for myself. You won't leave the city for the biggest take of your life? Man, it's not like that. Well, what is it like, huh? <laughs> you think the world owes you a living? You want money and respect, but you won't cross the street to get it. That useless millennial shit is more of a middle class thing. Where I'm from, hustling is still hustling. And going halfway across the state is still, uh, 
going halfway across the state. Yeah, well, Sandy Shores is the global headquarters for TP Inc., okay? Oh my so we God. gotta make the trip. <laughs> TP Inc.? Trevor Phillips Industries. My company. Industries or Incorporated? If it's TP Inc., it'd be Trevor Phillips Incorporated. Shh. Just saying. He's gonna You're get mad! You're me! Nice! Is it so strange that I've made a success of my life? Success! I know that wasn't what you wanted for me when you ran off, but still. Trevor, it's a business! Michael, an honest American business, and there aren't many of them left. Hey, you know this airstrip we're going to, we're managing it. Yeah, I hate to think what you did to the last managers. The lost MC LLP experienced an unexpected downturn. C4. We had to step in. The Lost Motorcycle Club. <laughs> yeah, you're a serious businessman, T. I cannot believe this. The hard-working entrepreneur is getting shit from a guy so lazy he retired in his 30s. And then from this other guy whose sense of entitlement is so strong, he asks how far we had to travel when he's offered a job he ain't even qualified to do. This is why the country is screwed. There's not enough me's, there's too many you's. <laughs> yeah, a country full of you's. That's just what this world needs. Shit would get done. It would be Darwinian. It would be I hell. Know, dude, we helping you out. But if you think you'd be better off on your own... No, 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 hey, look, hey! God, is that... <laughs> oh, that's calm. That's what down, I thought. All right. We have a score to take. There is profit to be made. I mean, don't that beat getting picked up by G-Men and forced to work for free? Yeah, 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 all right. Talk us through exactly what's going on. We're going out to Sandy Shores. I know that part. My guys will meet us there. They'll have the submarine. I'm gonna get into said submarine that... Wait, hold on. You had the flying lessons, right? Ah, the flying lessons. Right. You know, I was gonna have them. And then... Oh, you total idiot! Hey, what's the next part of the plane? There's an army chopper at the airfield. You're both getting into it. Michael's flying. He's gonna take off, pick up the submarine with me in it, and flying out to a point off the coast. You're gonna drop me into the ocean. I'll pilot the sub down to find the device the government's been testing. I'll get it, surface, you'll fly me back to the airfield. What kind of device? What kind doesn't matter. How much will be paid for it does matter. These are government scientists we're robbing. I said at the condo. The tests are being run by Meriwether Security Consulting. Ah, yes, the mercenaries. Fresh from fighting our secret oil wars. Should be very relaxing. If stealing a prototype like this from the government was relaxing, then everyone would be doing it. As it stands, we've got an opportunity to mint some serious coin. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's easier ways. I mean, this sounds extreme, T. Even for you. Can't we rethink? I mean, how deep are you into it? How deep? I've got a deep. sub. I've got a big helicopter. I've been researching this since I got to LS. Those guys, Wade and his cousin Floyd, are expecting a paycheck. Same with my intel guy, Ron Jakowski. Who is a damn sight better than Lester, I might ha! add. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'll go along with it. Listen, Frank. If you want out, I understand. No, 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 I'm good. I can do it with a paycheck. That's the spirit! Okay, I guess we're gonna do this insane job that has almost no planning behind it. See, I would be cool with mm -hmm. all this illegal shit, stealing a submarine, killing a bunch of government officials, taking a prototype, if I knew this prototype was actually worth money, but we're going into this completely blind. I mean, for all we know, they're doing, I don't know, underwater experiments with a prototype sex doll. I mean, that's not worth a lot of money. I mean, then again, it could be a uh, new type of bomb, new type of submarine, James Bond's vehicle, I don't know. But uh, I have a feeling it's not gonna be worth that much money. My point is, with all of this risk and all the shit you got, it would have been more profitable to, uh, I don't know, rob a bank or take down a super yacht full of jewels or something. Not a government prototype. And I love how delusional uh, uh, Trevor is. I'm a businessman, real American businessman, entrepreneur. Oh, for sure, entrepreneur, American businessman. 
Those are words that perfectly describe Trevor. Successful. <laughs> hey, hey, here's the sub. Floyd, wait, wait in the hangar. This is our chopper, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna be flying a chopper with no actual training. All oh, this is going to be so much fun. Well, I mean, I can't really knock Trevor too much. His methods may be unorthodox and uh, borderline insane, but he's actually always turned a profit, or at least gotten something out of his insanity. For example, he killed all of the lost bikers, and now he has this airport and their territory. He didn't make any money out of that, but he gained turf. So, I mean, in that respect, he actually did something good. Not good, but it was profitable. So, uh, yeah, maybe this what might work out. For? I'm talking to the viewers that you can't see because you're in a video game, but they can see you, so shut your damn mouth, Frank. So, uh, yeah, unlike Lamar, where everything always turns up negative, we never make money with him. So who knows? Use the grappling hook to pick up the submersible. Yeah, I may not be too smart, but I don't think a, a helicopter can pick up There's a- There's a rig attached to your chopper. Hover low over the submarine and they'll connect. You're telling me a little uh, a, chopper over the submarine and they'll hook together. A little helicopter can pick up a submarine that weighs multiple tons. I find this hard to believe, but then again, I've never actually operated a helicopter, like so. I told you, but no, nobody can tell Michael anything. Listen, I was dealing with my wife being a cheating skank, okay? She was sleeping with the uh, yoga instructor. Whoa, hello! Where you going, Michael? She was practicing the downward dog. Will you shut the fuck up? There we go, baby. You know, you're really trusting right now because I could just let go and you'd fall to your death most likely. Trevor, you got your company name sprayed all over this chopper. But uh, everything else about it says military. Yep. I got it from the military base. And there's all this military hardware in the back. Guns and whatnot. Oh! Mm -hmm. If this thing gets hot, they'll come in handy. Hey, I thought it wasn't getting hot. You said no major heat. In fact, you guaranteed it. It's a score, Michael. Even if you don't anticipate heat, you prepare for it. That's the code. That's why I don't take scores. Not anymore. I'm out of the game, man. What am I doing? Oh, really? You don't take scores? No, not anymore. What say you, Franklin? I say this is a conversation between you two. So, that wasn't you guys then at the Rockford Hills Jewel Store. Hey, that's right around the corner from my house, T. I might have been there buying something for Amanda. I certainly wasn't robbing it. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> I honestly have faith in him. He's so goddamn crazy. This might just work But I swear if we don't pull like a nuclear experimental bomb out of this water That must be the testing station up ahead. I'm gonna be pissed. This better be like a multi-million dollar job uh, Release the submersible near the test site, okay? I wonder how uh, high up I can drop him all right, Trevor, buckle up! Later, baby! How do I drop him? Nope, that's the radio. <laughs> that's my phone. How do I? No! God damn it, dude, I'm so stupid! <laughs> well, Trevor may have fried his brain for meth, but uh, he didn't just jump from a helicopter to his death. That was me. 
I am officially the dumbest human on earth. Okay, let's try that one more time. Also, if something looks a bit different, maybe my facial hair is a bit longer, it's not at all because I decided after I fat fingered the controller and Michael jumped to a suicide, that I was going to hop on a plane and fly the hell out of Florida to avoid what I thought was a massive killer hurricane known as Dorian. No, not at all. I'm a brave boy. I live in the southern part of Florida, in the Miami region, so uh, I thought, of course, Dorian was going to devastate the coast, and I flew away. It's been a whole week. I know, it's sad. I'm depressing. I'm a coward, but either way, buckle up. It's time to drop you in the ocean and hopefully score some big money. It's actually been a week. I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> Use the Trackify app to locate the device. What? Trackify app? The meth head? <laughs> Made an app? I'm picking up a signal. Oh my god. Okay, you have a very unorthodox method for getting stuff done, Trevor, but I gotta say, you come very prepared. A submarine, a stolen helicopter, and a trackify app to find this hidden device at the bottom of the sea that's worth a lot of money. Alrighty, tiny McFlyty, I'm down here. <laughs> my phone's hooked up to the sensors on the sub. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I got an ah. app here that should pick up the signal. <laughs> it's relaying the diagnostics from this thing. Come on, get to it, man. An ex-army helicopter hovering by this platform is going to raise suspicions. No. Why would that be the case? Whatever's down here can't be worth very much money, right? I mean, no security at all? It's probably a giant dildo hey, under the ocean for the fish. Oh, I'm staring into the abyss, and I like it, Michael. That's what doctors say when they go to examine his brain, staring into the abyss because you fried your brain cells completely out of your head from lots of drugs. But again, there's nothing down here worth money. There can't be. Although, I doubt anyone would ever assume someone would be crazy enough to steal a submarine and scour the bottom of the ocean, right? Uh, just rock so far. I mean, who would honestly be dumb enough to try this? They probably thought they were safe, but then again, the government Never, ever, lax on precautions. So, uh, oh, there's a shark! This looks like it, right there! It's bolted to the sea floor! I'm securing it! What in the hell is that? Is that some type of rocket? A thrusting device? It's a sex device, that's exactly what that is. For sharks! Aha! I know exactly what's going on here! Sex pleasuring devices for sharks. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've recorded. My brain is all loopy. Okay, well, let's grab this device that may or may not be a nuclear bomb, and uh, hopefully it's worth big money. If I can control the goddamn submarine, Jesus Christ. I really have fat fingers. This is a problem. Okay, down we go. Oh, that's up. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's been a while, guys, okay? A whole week, you forget a lot of stuff. For example, how to use a controller on a PlayStation. There we go. Careful, it might blow up. I have the device. I bring it into the surface. Okay. Well, whatever it is isn't going to explode, so that's good, I suppose. What hey, the man, hell so, is that? Uh, got the thing. What is it? We'll know what it is when we can run some tests. Well, tests? what does it look like? What you think it is? Uh, best guess it was hooked into the rock, maybe on a fault line, so could be a seismic suppressor to combat earthquakes and tsunamis, or no, potentially it's like a fusion reactor running on seawater. Like nuclear? Yeah, the good kind of nuclear. And is this what your bar was after? Yeah, well for sure. No, we'll be paid, Frankie. We will be well paid. How would he know what a seismic reactor is? Seismic reactor. I can't even speak. Seismic reactor or a sea-powered uh, nuclear device? What did he say? For a meth head, you sure know a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't even know what he's talking about. All we do know is it's worth money. And I can't speak without stuttering. Very valuable things for sure. Oh boy, oh boy. I wish I had those flying lessons. I also wish I had thin fingers. I got worms for fingers. It's very hard to control a helicopter in this game. Lift me up, let's go. Okay, hold on, sweetheart. It's not like the entire Navy and Army is gonna come swooping down on us. Oh, don't worry, guys. Official government business. I'm just in a military helicopter lifting a small submarine carrying a nuclear device. All legitimate military stuff, to be sure. 
This is exactly how the real government would handle things. Ah! This may take a while. Hold up. And flying lessons like I told you, but mm. no, nobody can tell Michael anything. Come on, come on, and ah! stop moving the stupid submarine, Jesus! Two thousand years later. Okay, well, I totally didn't have to crash in the ocean a thousand times, but we finally have the mini sub. <laughs> World's oh, worst pilot. Michael, we gotta move. Mm. I found this thing using an app on my phone, which means the private army guarding it can find it pretty easy, too. Really, Trevor? That's just great. Fantastic. I mean, I don't really see the private army, so whatever we have can't be worth too much money, right? And here they are. Speak Mary of the devil. Boats coming at speed. Okay, let's switch to Franklin. Frank, take oh. those guns and see what you can do about our tail. Yeah, okay, maybe if you turn the chopper around, thank you. Oh, real smart, guys. Yeah. Oh, you're in little dinky boats. I'm going to take out the big chopper. So smart. Oh! Uh, okay, these guys aren't playing around. Where the hell were you a few moments ago? Goodbye. Hey, uh, Trevor, listen. I don't think we stole an underwater dildo at all. I think this might be like a, a very valuable government project. Thank you for making it so easy. You're lining the shot up perfectly. <laughs> oh, hi! Yes, we stole your giant underwater experimental dildo. No more pleasuring of fishes for you. I don't know, man. Oh, whoa! Whoa, they're using rockets! Okay, not fair. Not fair at all. I wish I was playing as Trevor because he's got his meth vision. Oh, later! Who needs meth vision when you're a god? Oh god, I have the accuracy of a guy. There we go. Later, boys. That's right. We're going to make millions off your little project you're guarding. How does that feel, huh? And what are you going to do? You don't have any gunners. Oh yeah. You're yelling at no one. You don't have teammates. They can't listen to your messages or commands, whatever. That's all level for now. All right. Keep on going to the airstrip. That was it. Seriously? I mean, we've had more police on us because we stole a van. A van, a pest control van. What was that, T? I told you, that was Merriweather. Those choppers, and that ain't normal private security guards. Yeah, you're right. I have it on good authority that they're actually a lizard army who've taken human form to do the bidding of the new world order. I hope you can flip this thing fast. And I don't want to see those reptile buddies of yours ever again. Oh, come on. They weren't that bad. I mean, after all, we stole a military helicopter from a military base and only had to take a few bad guys out. Well, I mean, they were good guys, but for our purpose, they were bad guys. And I only had to shoot one chopper down. Then again, maybe by GTA standards, shooting down three or four choppers means whatever we just stole is worth some serious cash. And release. Easy enough. And I'll just land this, uh, nowhere. Do you know what you've done? The wire is going fucking crazy. Oh, and good to see you too. <clears throat> What's it been, huh, 10 years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you, I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese. Damn, what? Gee? This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did. Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You know, drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone <laughs> circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. Another score? You owe me. Wait, get in that chopper. Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay. All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey, we need a score. Remember. Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello? Me too. What? What, what do you guys mean, not getting paid? Oh, okay, listen, Trevor, calm down. <laughs> calm down, my man, calm down. You're going to give yourself brain damage. 
Not possible when you don't have a brain, but, uh, what do you guys mean not get paid? We have a super weapon. This is not only getting paid, this is us owning the United States of America. Are you kidding me? Oh, I think he's actually giving himself brain damage. <laughs> you good? Ah, see, this is probably why things don't work out for you. Most people, when they get upset, they go drink or shoot someone. Trevor smashes his skull into some wood. Mm. Heist passed. Okay, the Merriweather heist. What? Okay, first of all, I'm sorry, but you guys are idiots. Having a nuclear device at the bottom of the sea where any crackhead with a submarine could find it is not very smart. But also, why did everyone just bail on me? We could use this nuke as leverage. I will blow up Los Santos if I don't get $500 million and a trip to, I don't know, China. Guys, remember, we still need to uh, set up a getaway car, uh, find one, leave it somewhere secluded, then call the others to say where it is. Got it. What? Trevor just made the score of the century. Why are we not celebrating? I mean, true, it's a nuclear device and there's not a lot of people that would be into buying one of those, but if we threatened the entire United States of America, that would be bad. But I mean, if we got off alive, you would have more money than you know what to do with. Although that does kind of take the fun out of being a criminal, right? I mean, when you're rich, you're rich and everything's given to you on a silver platter and you don't have to really do anything, but uh, mm. Oh, it's the O'Neills, hello. Ah, brother O'Neill. Fuck you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're the guy stealing contracts. You burnt the farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die, that's our curse. Hey, you wanna expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. All right then, Mr. Hillbilly. Why don't you come on down here and play with my giant nuclear bomb? Yeah, I'll stick it up your ass and then blow you up. <clears throat> well, okay. See, this is like Lamar, only it's nothing like Lamar because Lamar kills thugs in the streets for cocaine, a little bit of cocaine, which turned out to be drywall, in fact. When it comes to Trevor, we kill military personnel, steal secret government projects from the bottom of the ocean, and we don't get paid. The only difference is the potential for us to die is much greater with Trevor because now the entire government is probably going to be looking for us. But either way, all that work, stealing a submarine, a helicopter, all of this for nothing. Are you kidding me? Trevor, you're starting to look a little bit like Lamar. I can't lie. A, a, a bit more crazy than Lamar. Not as funny as Lamar and definitely lacking in the hygiene department, but still looking like Lamar a little bit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. All that work for nil. We got nothing out of that except of course, a submarine and a helicopter and probably a bounty of a billion dollars on her head by the U.S. government. But either way, it's a good day to be Trevor. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out.